So, Daryl, you've put together this amazing book, and there's so many wonderful ideas and information, especially information in this book. But first, I want to understand a little bit more about what made you decide to put the book together. The objective of the book for me is to liberate. Design has become so precious and rarefied and intimidating. So, you know, I'm trying to suggest that people ought to have more confidence in their choices, and I'm trying to give a set of parameters within which one can execute any kind of environment. So you'll look at this house, for instance, and you see a lot of white. The same philosophy applies with whatever color palette you might choose to use. Daryl, I love the description you just gave because that, to me, is the essence of that book that you've put together, mm -hmm. and the beauty of it is the honesty behind it. Mm -hmm. It's about sort of, to me, again, just a self-discovery and um, really enjoying your life and your lifestyle and bringing that out in whatever col color palette you choose. Absolutely right. But Absolutely certainly right. into the I, entire I, I, environment. I, I really, I mean, I jest about it, but I think it's unfortunately so. I think that there's a lot of honor placed on others and visitors, and, and, and really you should live comfortably in your house. That should be the first objective. And with that, there should be some expression of the individual. And, and I think when you're looking at things that are purposefully outfitted and calculated and thoughtful, the dining room comes to my mind. You're not having a sit-down dinner for 20. You're having you know, that once a year, perhaps. You don't like the people that come anyway. So don't have a guest room. Make it a library so, there's, so they can go to a hotel. You know, let's just, how do you want to live in the house? Daryl, give us an example, a recipe for how to make colors work, multiple colors mm -hmm. in one room. Uh, make sense of the color, continuity of the color, slight gradation of the color, the suggestion of shadow. I, I think that um, there's a, a tendency for people to overemphasize, perhaps. And the way to really honor the architecture is through a sense of shadow. So take the, you know, your, your, your wall is light, your, your, your crown is just slightly darker than that, and the ceiling perhaps just slightly darker. So it's just this slight gradation of color that you see. This makes architecture very crispy and clean and simple. Well, I, I think you've certainly helped to sort of alleviate some of the stress around design and certainly around color. So wonderful job on the book. And again, Thank thanks you. for sharing your thanks. insights. Thanks so much.